Good morning, happy Wednesday. All right, here's the headline you need to check out. It is from the New York Post. Housing market could be headed for meltdown, economist warns. What's funny is right below this where it's suggested reading in the box I'm showing you, here's why Americans think now is the best time to buy a house. A little bit of a uh, confusing headline uh, there for what it's under. All right, NH NHB Chairman Jerry Contner said, 13% of builders who participated in the monthly survey said they had reduced home prices over the last month to lure buyers. What's interesting is that that means that 87% did not. And what does a price reduction mean? Well, if you think about it, what we have been experiencing is builders saying, okay, we're only gonna allow three to five homes be sold this month total. If your client's on the list, then they have the opportunity to submit us an offer and it better be well above ask price or else you just don't even have a shot. So this moderation, good thing. But again, only 87% said they didn't reduce prices, only, that's all. So here was the last sentence of the article and again, I'm gonna read it verbatim so I don't mess it up. Still, experts say the slowdown won't be as bad as the 2008 crisis that emerged when the subprime mortgage uh, market imploded. Now, if that headline didn't make you have like flashbacks to that, I don't know what would, but you had to read all the way to that last line to hear that, oh yeah, economists are saying that that's not where we're at. All right, let's jump right into the market. New homes that hit 353 with an average list price of 416. Now, normally I do closed homes at the end, but I wanna just kind of put a correlation here is that we had 435 homes close in the last 24 hours with only 353 come on the market. So if you look at that right now, we're still seeing those homes coming off the market exceeding the amount coming on on a daily basis. Now, of course, we have the weekends and stuff, but still, we're not adding inventory necessarily in the pace that we're going to need to to get back to a more moderate, stable market. The average list price um, for the closed homes was 385, but average sales price was 390 with seven days average on market. So again, price right, still getting a little bit above list, and very quickly coming off the market. Now, let's jump back over to coming back on the market. We had 100 with an average list price of 357, only 12 days average on market there. Price reductions, 243, that's kind of becoming the new average there with a list price of 469 and 24 days median on market, 32 price increases, love it. Expireds, only 16. Again, we're still seeing that, not that many expireds, but what we are seeing is this big jump in withdrawals. With the expireds though, the list price average was 423 with only 23 days on market. We saw 27 get held and on those withdrawals, we had 80 withdrawals, they voluntarily left the market with an average list price of 529 on those and then an average days on market of 30. So that's interesting right there. Pendings, we had 310 go to pending in the last 24 hours with an average 12 days on market and a median list price of 367. Active under contracts in the last 24 hours, 181, with an average list price of 395 and only nine days average on market for those. We are still seeing quite a few coming soon, which is that pre-market phase, which is fantastic. We've got 69 coming soon. And then, so happy to report that interest rates holding super steady. This is good news, seeing that volatility even out. 5.72%, which is still a historically low interest rate. Um, not maybe in the last two years historically low, but again, historically low over time. So, hope this helps. Have a great week. Stay dry, it's kind of gross out there, and I will see you tomorrow.